I reach for freedom of speech, yet each day moves further from my grasp to speak against the United States government or any statements they feed social media or any other kind of communicating arena to reach the populace. From social media, they will threaten me to be banned. And from the populace, my words and paragraphs shall be silenced. Just imagine if I lived in the time of the active plantations. I most probably would have been hung, bucked, and castrated since I would have been that field Negro and not that submissive house Negro. But instead, that ride or die, outspoken poet revolutionist, initiating the thirst for every kind of melanin indigenous freedom. I did not plan this. I did not scheme this. It just came to me and it charged my spirit to champion my indigenous brothers and sisters' awakenings and re-educations and self-knowledge of our heritage and our worldwide contributions and to expose the systematic indoctrinated mindsets of any oppressor who has gotten even more slicker and more wickeder than my great-great-grandparents and their ancestors could have ever imagined. Who shall dare to ride with me by supporting and sharing and indulging in proactive re-education and massive shifting of a devious constructed place position that we are in to a higher elevated spiritual position, emancipating intelligence, awareness, love of heritage, knowledge of ancestors, and the unification of all melanin indigenous natives on a global basis. The pen is more mightier than the sword or any kind of nuclear weapon. Let this poetic prose make you question in which direction you are destined to walk as an unawakened sheep to the slaughter or a well-awakened lion in the jungle as a survivor in this insane human existence we now live in.